Hopefully we're not going to weigh you down too much. Oh. Is, it okay? is it supposed to feel that low? Is it supposed yeah, to feel fine. that low? Okay. Just okay, Alexander. Cool. Just need to lift the side up. Can you move over? Can Alex, that stand, uh, Alex can stand, right? Yeah, All right, okay. we're ready. Thank you. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that's a view. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh. This is making me like real weak <laughs> in the limbs. I'm holding on to my hat. I don't have a string, a drawstring. Wow, this is quite a unique experience. Austin Tweed, Hi. how's it going for you? Great. Very high up, but the kids are right. Alexander. Alexander, okay? Want to hold Daddy's hand? No, he just wants to stay, stay here. Oh. Alexander, okay? Yeah, we're over the river. There's water down here. I think he's having a look. Interesting how it works. Hello there. Hi guys, we made it. We made it to where we'll be staying. It is called the Riverboat Cottage. And let's just get straight into it. So this is the front door. As you enter, you have the lounge, the couch, and two armchairs, and a dining table, plus some books on the shelf. I can see one about the Whanganui River. That might be interesting. We have the kitchen, an old fireplace. Probably won't need it, it being so hot. Um, sink. This is an oven, apparently. Don't think we'll need that either, but fridge. Um, utensils. And... Some chickens and the family. Hello! Hi, Alex! And Zeki, they're enjoying it already, relaxing. Here's a bathtub. That the kids can use. It's a bit rusty because apparently, um, people tried to light a fire. They're not supposed to light a fire, they're just supposed to enjoy it, just sit in the water. And yeah, the bathroom, <laughs> I don't know, it's like pretty nice, pretty flash. The toilet, outhouse style. And um, just the bedrooms. One of them is up here. We'll see how big the bed is and whether we can all fit. Otherwise, there is another room downstairs. Oh, wow. This looks a little bit luxurious. Cool. Okay, let's go back downstairs to the other room. My legs are still a bit shaky from the cable car experience. Coming back around the front. And here is the bunk room. I see. Is Daddy going to go on the slide? You want to go down the slide? Okay. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty wholesome right now. It's a nice ending to the year. The year 2022 with two under two. And, um, Hopefully more. 
let's watch this cute landing on the bum Austin ex um, described. Good morning, Tweeds. What have we here? It's not as big as the one yesterday. You reckon? It's still big. Yeah, uh -huh. I think it's the one from up there. I think it's the same. Is it the same one? Should yeah. we grab it? Oh no. And that is pouring cold water on the idea. Chicken in my kitchen. I'm just really enjoying this right now. Aside from the fact that Zeke is being a little bit um, dangerous here. So I have to hold on to him, of course, but aside from that, everything else is just very relaxing. Um, here's a view out, this nice little nook, barbecue nook. It's a shame we don't have any meat to barbecue. Dawson's a great barbecue, huh? <laughs> right. When, he, when it calls for it, hey, that one time you barbecued was great, so I'm going to call you a great barbecuer. <laughs> Good morning, it's our last day here at the Flying Fox um, retreat. Retreat. I guess it's kind of like a retreat accommodation. And um, we're pretty much all packed up to go, just feeding the kids the food that we have left, which are two bananas, um, a half a punnet of blueberries, and Austin's had a coffee. Have you had it yet? Um, halfway through. Halfway through. Off we go, back to the real world. <laughs> the machine's pretty cool back there. See ya. Alexander, are you okay? Alexander, would you like to have a look down? Out there, buddy, have a look. Bye-bye house. Bye bye cable car. Can you say bye bye cable car? Bye bye cable car. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Back to civilization. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave the gate back. Alexander? Let us go. Listen to Daddy. Yeah, I know the wheels are turning, but we need to go now, buddy. Okay? We'll go find the car? Where's the car? Alexander, following daddy, please. Do you need mommy to count? Listen to mommy. Yeah, listen to mommy. The wheel's turning. Yep. So, I was talking earlier about how I hope my car would last this trip. And, um, it's not starting. And I did, this did cross my mind, like, what if this happened? 
don't know whether we could just jump start it if someone could help us. But um yeah, Austin has had to start this car a few times when we've just been at home. So I'm not sure what what his plan is here. But yeah, maybe it wasn't a good idea to take a an old tired car on a trip to the other side of the country. Hallelujah, the car just started. Um, after Austin opened the bonnet, I don't know what made it want to do that. Any thoughts, Austin? Oh, well, it's just my mechanic hands. Oh, right. Well, thank goodness for those. The car started, yay. I was thinking we're just going to have to go back across the river and get people to help and find a, um, a jumpstart cable and get these um, other guests to move their cars, but... You're about to start crying. I wasn't going to start crying because I thought about this and I knew that it was a possibility because our car is getting old and worn out. I mean, look at this. And I know that's not like to do with the engine, but I feel like, yeah, this car needs to retire. Hmm. <laughs> it's happening again. We just stopped to drop the nappies off in the bins because they don't want them at the um, accommodation but yeah you're I wonder why you turn the car off anyway <laughs> mm. um, yeah it makes me not want to stop this car at all till we get home like let's just not ever turn it off and if we need lunch let's just go through a drive through oh I don't know or just be conscious to stop somewhere where we wouldn't mind staying overnight if we have to. Oh, thank goodness. That reassuring sound. Austin's magical hands. Was it? So we're back on the familiar road. We came from Tokoroa, how to swim in the public pool that I'm familiar with because I used to go there. Yeah, we're on the Kaimais. We're getting a bit cloudy. It got grey all of a sudden on, on this side. But yeah, glad to be back to familiarity. That, um, that resolution kind of feeling when you've gone out of the comfort zone, explored a little bit, and then come back. That feeling. 